We have new photos of people hanging out on the roof of the condemned former famous bar building downtown during the past week. Fox 2's Andy Banker has those photos and news of hope on the horizon. So on the heels of a dismal front page report about downtown St. Louis at the Wall Street Journal come these new photos showing trespassing at the old railway exchange famous bar building people climbing up to the rooftop to watch the sunset. Very dangerous. But there's also news that maybe things aren't as hopeless as they seem. Foot traffic in downtown St. Louis is going up, not down. We've seen hints with a steady stream of crowds for sporting events. The Journal report pointed to a University of Toronto study showing St. Louis had the steepest drop in foot traffic of the top cities in North America from the pandemic up to last summer. However, the study has just been updated through February of this year. It now shows St. Louis ranking 26th with a 16% jump in downtown foot traffic recovery behind competing cities like Pittsburgh and Detroit, but well ahead of Indianapolis and Kansas City. That almost makes people breaching metal doors and plates to get inside and eventually on the roof of the railway exchange building even more troubling. Well, I see some people coming in and out that door, like several people. Like, it'll be a group of people, then it'll be another group of people. She remembers when the now condemned building was St. Louis's favorite department store. Yet even as the number of broken windows continues to multiply at a building that fills an entire city block, downtown advocates see great things ahead. That property is so important to us, right? So it's in the middle of downtown. It's gorgeous architecturally. As important as those things, though, it has so many emotions attached to it from St. Louisans going back generations, right? So it is such a cultural icon for the city. We've got to make it work, and when we do, it's, gonna, it's going to kick off a lot of other positive things downtown. The city's building division has now repaired that breached door, and aldermen have authorized the use of eminent domain to seize control of the building from its absentee owners in Florida. Andy Banker, Fox 2 News.